Recorded just moments after she was attacked, we see Ashley clearly struggling in this video exclusively obtained by True Crime News. <sighs> by the time her fiance, Julian, returns home, Ashley is having trouble breathing. She looks really messed up, so right away he just makes a decision to rush her to the hospital. Two hours later, Gwinnett County Police show up at Antonetta and Daniel's apartment with body cams rolling. This girl, she came to my house, she's gonna sleep with my fiance. Mm. She works over there, he, she's his manager, and she keeps on forcing him to have Great. sex with her. And we ended up fighting right there because she approached my home. Is that what really happened? This is my home. She lives all the way over there. Okay. Police won't learn the whole truth until later when they go through Daniel's phone messages. Meanwhile, nurses are tending to Ashley in the ER and one of them calls 911. I was calling to report um, an assault on one of my patients who was came to the ER. Body cams are rolling in the police car as officers call Ashley in the ER to get her side of the story. When they ask her what sparked the fight, she claims she doesn't know the women who attacked her. They told us that she found out you were sleeping with her fiance. Y'all went outside and had words and y'all got into a mutual fight. Well, they got the wrong person then because that's not what I thought. Unless they were looking for somebody or what, but... What happens next comes as a shock to everyone involved. 